Let's talk to Richard Hunter. He's the head of research at Wilson King. Uh, Richard, very good morning to you. Um, big week this week for FTSE 100 constituents reporting. Um, give me the headlines. Yeah, all sorts. We've got uh, a couple of the big pharmaceuticals. Um, Royal, Royal Dutch Shell is also reporting. Interestingly, as always, uh, Lloyds and Barclays are reporting, which will lead into uh, the other banks over the next couple of weeks. But uh, yeah, you've also got ITV and Sky. So a pretty good mixture uh, across the board. Uh, of FTSE 100 uh, companies reporting and of course uh, being mirrored equally in the US as well as the technology Q2 H1 season really gets underway with technology stocks in particular uh, being in focus because they've been a, a major driver of the success of the uh, Dow Jones and, and general S&P 500 in the year to date. So in terms of the uh, US markets making record highs last week, the FTSE is lagging a bit. Do you think this would be a good reason to push the market on as we go into sort of Q3? Yeah, I mean, the problem we've got at the moment, of course, is, uh, and it's been the case for a, a, a good few months, is that if you take away any sterling effects, which seems to be the main driver of the FTSE movement at the moment, depending on whether sterling's strong or weak, we, we've kind of been reaching out for a, a sort of catalyst, which hasn't been there. Obviously, we had the euphoria washing over to some extent from the US earlier in the year. Um, that's another reason why the uh, reporting season is, is so important, of course, because companies need to um, underline the fact that the global economic recovery uh, is still on track. But again, I think we're getting to the stage in the absence of that catalyst when, when um, in the absence of, of any real volatility or, or movement for the FTSE 100, you might want to consider that a good old bottom-up approach again. Thank you very much indeed.